sunshine of the morning make your day Rise and shine. 6 to 7.30 a.m. every single morning on Channel I. Good evening and welcome to Diplomatic Faces. Today we are privileged to have with us the Russian Ambassador in Sri Lanka, His Excellency Alexander Karsheva. Good evening. Welcome to the program, Your Excellency. Thank you. Uh, this year marks an important year in the relations between Sri Lanka and the Russian Federation. Sixty years have passed since we established diplomatic ties right. on the 19th of February to 1957. Right. And we had a state visit by His Excellency the President, Maitripala Sirisena, possibly the second state visit of a Sri Lankan leader to Russia. How would you uh, talk about the visit and the results of that visit? Well, uh, yes, this year is a jubilee year and uh, we are celebrating and marking this occasion, 60th anniversary of our diplomatic relations uh, through the whole year. Of course, the date is 19th of February, but uh, the uh, events devoted uh, to this date are going through the whole year. Uh, we had several uh, uh, receptions, uh, uh, we had the exhibitions, uh, um, movie shows, cultural shows, but the crowning point of uh, this year, of course, was official visit to Russia. His Excellency Maitripala Serisena, the President of uh, uh, Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. Uh, the visit itself uh, and the uh, Sri Lankan-Russian summit were very uh, important events, I would say historical events, because previously official visit, I underline official visit, uh, happened uh, 1974. That means 43 years before that one, uh, when uh, Honorable uh, Serimao Bandaranaike, Her Excellency, visited uh, Moscow, and not only Moscow. This year, uh, His Excellency Maitripala Sirisena uh, visited only Moscow. It happened in March. Uh, uh, the weather was uh, not very warm, but I do hope that uh, His Excellency and the whole delegation were uh, properly warmed up, uh, war, uh, warmed up by Russian traditional hospitality, especially provided personally by my President uh, Vladimir Putin. And the talks were very successful, and uh, we hope and we feel already that this uh, visit and uh, Russian-Sri Lankan summit will give uh, yet another very serious impetus to the whole complex of our relations. Your Excellency, do you envisage a reciprocal visit by the Russian President to Sri Lanka? Uh, His Excellency Maitripala Sirisena invited, uh, very kindly invited, my President to visit Sri Lanka and this invitation was uh, very graciously accepted, but of course uh, for the exact uh, schedule of, uh, or timing of such a visit, 
uh, it is too early to, you know, uh, name specific dates or even periods. Or whenever it is appropriate time for both sides, I do hope my president will visit this beautiful country. Your Excellency, you have seat, we are seated today in a spanking new building, a new office, a new home for Russia and Sri Lanka. You have converted a, virtually a garbage dump into something absolutely magnificent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have you anything to say about the work that was involved? You know, it's been uh, one of the um, priorities of uh, my assignment here uh, to complete uh, this project. Uh, and I must say that uh, the whole uh, history was very long. Uh, we acquired, well, actually, we started negotiating this piece of property as long ago as uh, 1976. 1976. We signed the deed and we acquired this property in March 1986, 10 years. After we acquired, we bought this property, it became Russian property. It took us, due to many different reasons, it took us uh, 25 years before we managed to break the ground here. It happened in uh, late, it happened late uh, uh, 2011. Then I came 2012, and when I came, uh, the place, uh, the Actually, construction site was practically uh, flat. Uh, the process of piling just started. So, uh, actually, it took me four years to supervise and to, com uh, to complete this construction. And we moved in uh, almost a year and a half ago. But I'm very happy that we managed to complete and put the whole complex into operation because it is convenient, it is spacious, and it's going to be a home for Russian diplomats for many, many decades to come. What have you done with your previous property, which was no, adjacent we, no, to the no, 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 premises? No, no. It, it was not our property. Uh, the old uh, heritage building in the form of Flower Road, now uh, Ernest da Silva Road, uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't belong to us. We just vacated it, and I don't know the owners, what, their, what, what are their plans, it is not known to me. Same residence, it was also uh, rented. So now, Chancery, Living Quarters, Russian School, and Ambassador's Residence are all in this compound. Getting back to your role in Sri Lanka, how does your role in Sri Lanka compare with the other stints that you have served in other places in the world? Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, the priority of uh, any Russian ambassador assigned to a foreign country, the top priority, I think, is the same everywhere, to diminish number of uh, foes or to Embrace. narrow narrow their circle and to uh, enlarge uh, the uh, number of your friends. This is the top priority. And uh, this is uh, my second ambassadorial uh, assignment. I, uh, well, in this position, my experience is already covers 10 years. So I always, I always was trying to do that. Uh, as for Sri Lanka, you know, uh, specifically, as we mentioned, we have very long history of diplomatic relations, 60 years, and throughout all these six decades, our relations were traditionally friendly. Uh, both countries, uh, both countries uh, served as trustworthy friends to each other. Uh, I think it is very well known in Colombo. We always rendered uh, assistance. Uh, to your country, and we also uh, proceeded uh, from the fact that in uh, Sri Lanka we have our uh, trustworthy partner, 
and uh, like-minded country in international forests. And we always could count on your voice in the international forests. Russians, would I be correct to say Russians love Sri Lankan tea? Oh yes, uh, uh, Ceylonese tea is very extremely popular in Russia. Uh, we are considered it the best uh, and uh, I think your traders are doing really well really well uh, on the Russian market. Uh, up till recently, Russia was the number one market for sure. Ceylonese tea. Uh, lately, due to uh, weakened ruble, uh, I think we slipped to second position. But still, we are among the most major markets for Sri Lankan uh, product. Your Excellency, is it your practice when you uh, uh, at the helm of a diplomatic mission in a country to learn the language of the country? You know, you cannot uh, learn all the languages, uh, but we do have, in my country, we do have several uh, linguistic schools of, you know, top level. Uh, foreign languages uh, are taught in uh, four, five, Maybe more, uh, uh, five to seven universities in Moscow, both uh, Western languages and Oriental languages. In my case, I graduated from the Oriental Languages College of Moscow State University. But my principal language uh, was not Singhala or Tamil. My principal language uh, in the college was Thai. And uh, uh, I've been on two assignments to Thailand. Uh, all, in all, uh, all in all, I spent uh, eight years there. But uh, what's interesting, my foreign minister, Honorable Sergei Lavrov, his principal language at his university uh, was Singhala. Wasn't he? He's been based, based here? here for four years, uh, 70, 1972 to 1976, and actually he participated. Uh, when the negotiations on this property started. Uh, he was a PA secretary and interpreter for uh, those days Russian ambassador Nishanov. In your span of 10 years as an ambassador overseas, what do you feel is your biggest accomplishment thus far? You know, uh, it is very difficult to name uh, any specific uh, issue or uh, event, <coughs> but let's say when I was uh, a Russian ambassador to Malaysia and Brunei, based in KL, uh, I think the most uh, impressive bilateral project which I, uh, to great extent, supervised was uh, Russian assistance to the Malaysian side to send their very first cosmonaut into space. It happened uh, in 2008 and uh, thus uh, Russia helped Malaysia to join the space club. Just to name one. Well, uh, building uh, this uh, complex here, also, you know, I'm quite proud of that. Uh, of course, my mission was just to supervise, but uh, uh, in, the, in the course of these four years, uh, there were so many issues I have to, uh, you know, solve with both sides. It happens like that usually, so with the local authorities, sometimes with Moscow. So it was the whole process of, of four years. Uh, well, uh, maybe my superiors uh, will name something else. But uh, in my position, I will stop here. Your Excellency, what challenges and opportunities uh, do you see for Russian businesses uh, in Sri Lanka? Well, uh, speaking about opportunities, uh, 